This is a quick walkthrough of how to use the TED Ed Lessons, a brilliant new resource I've just found. So in Google, I actually just um, type in the lesson I want. So TED Ed Lesson Coastal Erosion, because that's my topic at the moment. And you'll see you've got quite a few already. And I found this one was a really good one. So what processes form our coastlines? So this is the main um, screen you'll get to. And you can just, basically this is the lesson, you can show your children this lesson. So you've got here, let's begin, a nice introduction, and there's usually a video that starts it off. Um, so if you watch the video, just click its YouTube video usually. And after the children have um, watched it through, um, you go into the next step, and it's a think. Um, so here you've got um, some questions here and a little box for the students um, to do as an answer. Um, you do need to register um, for that to happen. But I just want to show you as an example. Um, you can actually either do it as a class or you can get your students to do it um, on their iPads or devices. Um, it's completely up to you. So go through the questions. It's all about longshore drift, explain how it works. This will have all been answered in the video as well. Um, it's a really good way as well to flip your classroom. So ask the children to um, watch this um, when they're at home, maybe a homework, and then the next day they can come in and ask the questions. Um, the next one, dig deeper. So basically it gives you um, some more resources. You can see here they've included an online test to test the student's knowledge. Um, and then we have more information. Um, and the last one, which I really like, um, there's often, it's not always these four as well, there are different ones, uh, but these are generally what, what they are. Um, it's a guided discussion, this final one. And so you can see a teacher's created a discussion. Coastal environments should be left alone, so it's all about the uh, protection of the coasts. And then what your students can do is lead their own responses. So we have a look at um, some examples. And you can either respond yourself um, or you can create your own completely new discussion. Um, and then that's the lesson. Really nice plenary that, that as well. Really like this resource and we'll definitely be using it a lot. Thank you.